Now, before you go on a trip to Costa Rica, or really any of these locations where you're gonna be shooting from a boat in a river, you need a long lens. I recently upgraded, and I wish I had this lens for the trip. This particular one from Olympus is a lens that goes from 40 millimeters to 150. But you see with Micro Four Thirds, that's actually an 80 to 300. That's pretty cool. That gives you a lot of flexibility with the lens. And they make things like this, which is an extender. This allows you to further magnify the lens, in this case, a 1.4 reach, making the lens function like it was a 420 millimeter lens. Actually, I had a 150 to 300 millimeter lens, and the only thing I disliked about lenses of that length is that they tend to be a bit cheaper. What I found is when I was really zoomed out like that, particularly with harsh light coming in, a lot of chromatic aberration would appear. Remember, chromatic aberration is color fringing that appears at the edges, particularly when you have high contrast. One way to cut down on it is to make sure that you actually attach the lens hood that comes with your camera. That'll cut down on light bouncing around inside the lens, which really is one of the key leading factors. Now, a newer lens like this is nice. It's 2.8 all the way through. But you will find on many of the cheaper, longer lenses that they are going to be something like a 5.6 or even higher. Of course, there are pro ones of these available. But you need a dedicated monopod to hold the lens and likely a Sherpa to help you carry everything. For me, the advent of a crop sensor with Micro Four Thirds makes a lens like this a lot more appealing. This is still a relatively expensive lens, but what's nice is, is that it extends my reach. While it weighs just a couple of pounds, 420 millimeters goes a long way. So if you need to use a further reach, consider either enhancing one of your existing lenses using an extender or renting a lens that you're gonna travel with. But I can't emphasize enough, these longer focal length lenses tend to get really heavy. This one is pretty heavy and it's a micro four thirds. The DSLR equivalent would easily be three or four times more weight and substantially longer. So while you want that portability, find the balance. You might need to trade off some quality, drop down to micro four thirds, or pick up an extender to boost a lens that's already in your kit. Once you have that, the world of bird photography will become unlocked. The riverbanks are absolutely filled with amazing animals. I would recommend that you go out on the tour prepared to shoot. And instead of keeping your eye glued to the eyepiece of the camera, keep your eyes open, camera at hand and ready to go, and visually spot by turning side to side looking for activity. Look for ripples, keep your ears open for splashes, look for movement in the trees. When you see it, then bring your camera up and take the shot.